With a passion for creating fashionable and inclusive clothing for plus-sized children, Ember and Ace was created to celebrate individuality and instill confidence and joy in kids and teens. Here to tell us more about the brand is owner Pam Luck. Pam, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yes, really excited to talk about this unique business that you have, Ember and Ace. So incredibly important. So give us all the details of what is Ember and Ace. So Ember and Ace is an athletic wear line that I designed exclusively for plus size kids. Um, I think it's really important for all kids to be able to participate in the activities they love, soccer, basketball dance class, but to do those things, you need clothing that fits your body. Mm -hmm. And I saw that there was a real lack of athletic wear for plus size kids and decided to make it myself. You're like, hey, I'm just going to solve this problem myself. No big deal. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I've never designed before. It's fine. <laughs> well, clearly it was fine because look at how successful you are now. And we'll get into the details of Ember and Ace. But I first have to ask what inspired you? What, what about your own personal experiences helped inspire this business? So I've been plus size my entire life and I loved to play soccer in school and I danced and by the time I was in high school I had to wear men's athletic wear the largest size available and wow. so it didn't make any sense to me then fast forward 30 years since I was in high school and it's still a problem today. Mm. Which is bad, that's a which problem. Is, which is a problem, you know, I have a child in a bigger body and so there's still no place for these kids to shop for clothing so I decided to be part of the solution I and to that. develop the line. Well, here you have it. Now you've developed it, Ember and Ace. Yes. And it first started off, like you said, as active fitwear. Yes. So tell me about some of the designs that they can discover when shopping at Ember and sure. Ace. So part of designing for kids and bigger bodies is you have to account for differences in the way the clothing needs to fit. For example, extra room in the legs. So we have a six inch inseam short that's got a lot more room in the legs so you can have thick muscular legs and still be comfortable when you move. Uh, we have a t-shirt, it's just a basic crew neck tee but you don't have to worry that it's gonna not cover your belly. Because one of the things that's difficult is mm. if your clothing's too small, you worry about it riding up. If mm. you're running or bending over or reaching. Oh. So, but it's also not like an adult size shirt, which you're gonna swim in, that'll go all the way to your knees. Yeah. Which is one of the only options today is wear a tremendously oversized adult shirt that goes way too long and wasn't mm -hmm. made for your body or a t-shirt from us, which will fit your body and be comfortable to move in. So we have a jogger and a legging and a t-shirt and a pair of shorts currently. Amazing, so yeah. something for a little bit of everybody. And I, I wanted to get into the details of this. You, one thing that you really pride your business on is instilling joy, confidence within both teens and kids. Mm -hmm. In what ways do you believe your line does that and why was that so critical? I think one of the things you have to think about, what I thought about as a kid was, if they don't make clothing that fits your body, then there's something wrong with you and you don't belong in these spaces. Mm. So for me, it was really important for these kids to understand you do belong in these spaces. You should be doing these activities that you love, spending time with your friends, mm -hmm. because those are the things that are also gonna be tremendously helpful for mental health and physical health. And so I'm just super passionate about making athletic activities and dance and things like that much more inclusive for these kids. Well, you expanded on that idea because you're like, hey, I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to keep solving these problems. You have recently expanded into formal wear. And yes. we're actually going to take a look at some of the dresses that you brought with you today. Tell yes. me about this expansion. So this is a little bit different because um, manufacturing is tough. It's a really complex puzzle to solve. So I wanted to find a way to do some formal wear, but to also feed into this need for us to repurpose and reuse clothing. Mm -hmm. The apparel industry is particularly, you know, very fast wasteful. fashion, very wasteful. Yeah. So I decided to do pre-owned formal wear in plus sizes. When I grew up, they didn't even make dresses in my size. I had to have my prom dress made, but mm -hmm. there are dresses today, but there's nowhere you can shop for them where they're all pulled together. Mm -hmm. So you can see different colors and different styles and different sizes. Because formal wear tends to, the sizing is a little bit off. Um, we just did a beautiful model shoot and she wore three different size dresses for that shoot and they all fit. Mm -hmm. But so, that makes sense. You're like, it just varies. <laughs> it just varies. So yeah. you have to try it on. So we decided to pull together a bunch of pre-owned dresses in sizes 14 to 26. I have 60 dresses. Incredible. <laughs> You're like, the options are there. <laughs> the options are there. <laughs> and so we have sequins. We have, you know, no sequins. We have satin. We have taffeta. We have 
chiffon, we have it all. Um, with multiple options in every size for people to come and try on. Amazing. Yeah. Now, you also do, like you already mentioned, you do some of the designs, too. So you're like, yeah, I've never done this before, but I'm going to hop in and become a designer as well. Tell me about that part of the process. Sure. So... Part of the reason we have to manufacture the athletic wear is it doesn't exist in the sizes that we need for kids. So it becomes how do we figure out fit? How do we figure out how to move from one size to the next? And so that's a tremendous amount of just trial and error and starting from a place of this is maybe close to what I want. So you find the larger kid sizes and maybe you pull a women's size or a men's size and say, let's start here and then just start doing a lot of fitting mm -hmm. and thinking about where are the areas for kids that you have to be mindful of? And that's muscular legs or having a belly or yeah. needing more space and really thinking about how can we meet that need? And so a lot of the design is iterative. Mm -hmm. It's about trying something and then doing a lot of fit sessions and trying it again and again. Well, you have done such an amazing job. I know some of our viewers are probably wondering how can they get a hold of some of your designs, your dresses, or just shop at Ember and Ace. Tell us the details. Okay. Ember and Ace, the athletic wear, is still available online, so I would head to emberandace.com, and you can shop there. For the formal wear, because it does require trying on, we are going to be popping up here in the Bay on Sunday at Suckafle in San Francisco on Sunday the 24th. So if you want to find a formal dress, size 14 to 26, come to Suck -a Flea, come say hi, try on some dresses. And then if you're looking for athletic wear, head to embernace.com. Amazing. Thank you so much, Pam, for all that you're doing. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Of course.